We were abandoned after what happened. No one came to help us. We were just left on the streets. And I'd just like to say that it is projects like this that put a counter narrative to that and show that some good and some hope and some love can come out of what happened to us. We all took a risk in getting involved and responding to this vision when we thought, imagine if we could do this. We're here today to give thanks and also to reflect on how this has changed us. Just wanted to ask what some of your favourite memories were. Uh, I would say climbing the rocks. Um, paddle boarding and rock pulling. My favourite part was when I was paddle boarding and, and rock pulling. There's a lot of theories about blue mind, blue mind thinking and our affinity with the water and how the water can, can heal and, uh, and nurture us. I'm very lucky I go out every day, pretty much, and I get a huge amount out of it. And if I can give just a little bit, little bit back, then I will. I've just been very, very lucky to be involved, to be honest, and to meet all of you guys from Grenfell, you've given me so much. If we're able to engage in an activity that allows us to look outside ourselves and not be caught in a circle of thought, anything that engages us in that way can help us on a journey to recovery if we've had a setback in our lives. The kind of courage I've witnessed from older folk, teenagers and little guys is a credit and an inspiration to all of us and it is it's changed me it's changed how I view adversity you never really feel like you can take action because you know you're so young and there's nothing really you can do so it was really good to actually feel like you could make a difference however small it was Early on, speaking with Esme, uh, she, she made me personally aware of the Penley lifeboat disaster. What we experienced in that trauma, I, I think unless you've experienced it, you just will never know what it is. So the fact that this community had been through something like we'd been through in a, in a very unspoken way, just feels that we have a link that goes beyond words and goes beyond anything else. I mean, standing outside watching the street sign being unveiled, all the hard work that we know that went into that, and seeing a community happy and engaged with, with that was probably the highlight so far. The best thing about Cornwall is our wonderful spirit of community that is evident across the place, and that spreads out to giving a really warm, Welcome to so many people. It will stand for uh, the Cornish spirit of one and all and the Grenfell spirit of being united. Grenfell United is an organisation that was set up by the survivors and the bereaved of the Grenfell Tower fire. Grenfell United today is the organisation that campaigns for justice, campaigns for change, there are over 400 tower blocks in this country that have either similar cladding to Grenfell, similar issues with their fire doors, similar insulation, so have the same issues. No one should lose their lives the way our loved ones lost their lives. When you put profits over people's lives, this is inevitable. On behalf of me and my family, not only Grenfell United, but also the community, the survivors, the bereaved. You haven't made us feel welcome as friends. I, I feel like I've made, you know, a new family. From the bottom of all of our hearts, thank you so much. It would take me all night to even begin to mention 
from the travel to the accommodation to the activities to everything. So I just want to really, really thank you. I would like personally to thank Cornwall for hosting us. It's been amazing. I mean, we cannot even thank you enough. I would like to ask different people now, different groups of people, just to stand. 